Alright, so welcome back to part 2 of, of my Mastery Double O Riser review. And in this part, I'll be going over the accessories that come with the original Double O. When I say original, I mean the regular accessories that we first see in the movie. I mean in the show. So for the first accessory he, came, he comes with, let's start with the ones on the kit. He comes with, let me just get some stuff here. He comes with, with him around here. Um, he comes with two beam favors and two clear pink beams and when I first put them in they were a little bit tight but I did shave off the clear plastic a little bit just so they wouldn't the peg wouldn't break when I put them in so and hold them in the hand I just put, rip the hand out oops and the thumb likes to fly out a lot so that just pegs in and there you go give you your hand back so you can also dual wield it but there's one um, beam saver and that does come off and um, let's talk about the hands he comes with a lot of different hands it comes with the regular wing hands or wing hands they're sort of like the wing but instead of being Think connected to the palm, I think they're connected to the wrist. So he does come with closed fist ones. Um, I think these are the ones for well no, I think they're either for either hand, but they would you would pull that off and let's take that arm off. Oops. That's good. Oh, there it is. So we take that uh, off and then peg it back in and that clearly was the right one so there his that's his closed fist but I like to have him pose with the open hand or you can actually get these movable ones I think these are movable. yes you can get the movable ones they are all individually posable not individually but three hands three fingers stick together and index finger separate and thumb separate and I I normally just I just normally use the ones that you stick into the hand because for some reason I think those these are hold the accessories a little bit better or I don't know maybe I just like them. Okay, so and other accessory he comes with two GN Sword twos which do mount on the side skirt like so using a connector piece and side skirt came off. Uh, okay, now they can also transform into the GN Sword 2 rifle, the beam rifle mode. So, you don't want to take that off. So, phew, there's his rifle. And you just stick it into the hand like so. And just okay, get that peg in. Yeah, that actually works better. Stick the hand in. Cause all it's do is it's holding it. Cause it's not even holding it at all, and it's just being held by the peg. And it holds it pretty well too. Okay. So now you just stick it in here. Bend this down, cause that's gonna. So there's his beam rifle. Which I really like for some reason. It's something about transforming weapons that just make me like it. So, um, it does come with some clear effect parts for both. It comes with these really, really nice clear pink parts. And um, you just slide these on. I don't know if there's any other way. I, I think... Now, I know you can get it in the SD, but I don't know if there's any other way you can get these. I should watch some more reviews. So there's some beams, effect parts here, which do make it bigger. And, um, where is that going? The two GN Sword 2 rifles can also be combined into this configuration. 
transform this here. Get the other clear pink piece. You just stick this on and you get a really, 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 really long weapon. So pull this off and stick this on. To get it, you just, it's going to be a little bit cumbersome here. And it already came out of the hand. Wow. Oh well, but he does hold it, but for some reason it's being stubborn. I can't get it in right now. Oh well. Nope, there we go. So he does hold it. And it's a big weapon too. It's, oh, I'm using the wrong one. So let's put that to the side. It can also be mounted. Unless I already didn't say that. Oh, yes, I did. It can also be mounted on the side skirts. And it comes with these. I don't know what these are called. I'll have the manual lift here with me. So what you do is that these would peg on either onto the back of the arm. Like so. And act as daggers both arms so like that or they can be mounted on the shield on the uh, shoulder armor the uh, flat peg and hole and this is I don't like connecting them because it usually doesn't even cooperate this is in the shield configuration yes it is so you would pull one of these out pick it into the other one and there's your shield it's um what a very interesting shield because the way the double L would hold it is like that. And what was that? It doesn't even stick. Oh yes it does. So it's pretty far back. And let's get this piece back on. Um, okay. I think that's it for... Oh wait, not it for accessories, but you get um I do have the LED here but I don't have the batteries yet so I am not gonna take it out of the bag. I am also gonna get two extra that um two pack of LEDs for the double O for the GN drives. I am only getting one pack because putting it in these um these parts right here of the O Rise well, that sounds pretty kind of redundant to me because um if you want that you can just take the LEDs from here and put them in there. But if you want I'm not going to want them glowing all at the same time because if there's like a, some kind of gimmick where you can get actual particles coming out that would be cool but I'm not going to if that would if it did do that I would get the LEDs but if it didn't because it, it doesn't I'm not so I wish it did but no so or I can probably rig something up but I am not going to so you can replace the GN drives with the GN condensers from the double Oh, movie. So what you do is that you just pull those out and replace these in here. Then just get this here. And you just peg it in. And the, I'm going to have to do one. So, GN condenser, GN drive. Um, you can also still mount the double o, the O riser, just like in this with the G O co the condenser. But I will, um, I am gonna do both. I'm gonna do two GN drives and two GN condensers. So that will be in the next part. I will also be going over the G the GN the uh, GN Sword three. So though this is gonna be a three part review, and I'll see you guys then.